Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to crochet a basket weave stitch beanie. This one here fits 4 to 8 months baby. And I use a 4mm crochet hook. On the right fits 9 to 12 months with a 5mm. So we need an iron yarn for this. You can use whatever yarn you have. Just check the label for the recommended crochet hook size. So for this one, it recommends 5mm crochet hook, but I will be using a 4mm. So our two halves, they have same pattern. The difference is only the crochet hook size. So you can crochet, make it bigger or smaller depending on the size of your hook. So we'll also use scissors and darning needles. Let's start and don't forget to subscribe. We'll make a slip knot and then we're going to chain 64 for this size. So this is multiples of 8. You can do multiples of 8 plus 1 but for my one today I will just be chaining 64 and I will explain to you later the difference. So we start working on the brim of the hat. So we're going to slip stitch. So we will chain three, which I will consider as my first double crochet. If you add one more chain in the beginning, so don't consider this one as your first double crochet. Example, you made 64 chains plus one. So please don't consider this. To make double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook, grab the yarn, we have three loops on our hook, pull through two, we have two loops and pull through two. We crochet over this tail to hide it. Again, yarn over and insert, grab the yarn, we have three loops, pull through two, and pull through two. So I'll continue to make double crochets all throughout the round and I will meet you at the end. I am at the end of round one. Then we are going to slip stitch on the third chain on our first double crochet. So we will start with our round two and we will do chain two. We will make back post double crochet. So, yarn over, insert from the back, around the front, and it's like pushing this vertical post backward, and then we will make a double crochet. I'll do it three more times, total of four back post double crochet. Next, we make front pose double crochets. This time, we insert from the front around the back, and it's like pushing forward that vertical pose and then make a double crochet. I'll make three more front pose double crochet, total of four front pose double crochet. We'll just continue to alternate four back post double crochets and four front post double crochets. Thank you. 
I'm at the end of round two. I'll be making three front post double crochets and this chain stitch here I will consider as my fourth stitch. So if you add one chain at the beginning, let's say you made 64 plus one at the beginning, then you will be making four front post double crochet at this point and you won't be considering the chain stitch as part of your stitches. So that's the difference. So as for me, I just made three front post double crochet at the end of round one. And then I'm going to slip stitch on the second chain on the chain two that we did at the beginning of round two. For rounds three and four, we will just repeat the pattern that we did for round two. So again, we will start with chain two and then we will make four back post double crochet. And then we will make four front post double crochets. I will continue alternating four back post double crochets and four front post double crochets and I will meet you at the end of round four. I'm at the end of round four. So for rounds two, three, and four, as you can see, the ends have, we work three front post double crochets in every end of the rounds, two, three, and four. And as you can see, uh, there is not much gap between the beginning and the end of each round. So that's the reason why I did not add one chain at the beginning. So if you add one chain at the beginning, you will see four front post double crochet plus another stitch for the chains. So I hope I made it clear the difference between adding one chain at the beginning and not adding one chain at the beginning. So this is the result of not adding one chain. So if you add one chain, then it's all right. It is totally up to you. Now we'll start with a round five. We'll do chain two. And this time we will do the opposite. We will start doing front post double crochets. So we will make front post double crochet on top of the back post double crochet. So we will still ma be making four front post double crochet. And on the top of our previous front post double crochet, we will make back post double crochets. So for this round, round five, we will do the reverse by starting with a front post double crochets and alternating with four back post double crochets. I'll continue to make few more stitches of this pattern and I'll show you the result. So this is how it looks like now. 
So I'm just going to continue at the end and I'll meet you. So for rounds 6 to 7, we will just repeat the pattern of round 5. We will start with front pose double crochets. And after making 4 front pose double crochets, we will make 4 back pose double crochets. We will continue to do this pattern until the end of round 7. After you finish round 7, you can keep going on by alternating 3 rounds of the pattern of round 2 and 3 rounds of the patterns of round 5. So you have to alternate the pattern until uh, you reach, uh, until 2 inches before your de the desired length of your hat. So just to review the stitches that I am doing here, I did 4 front posts, and then 4 back posts, and then 4 front posts, then we'll continue with 4 back posts, and we will alternate throughout the round until the end of round 7. So again, after round 7, just keep going on alternating until 2 inches before the desired length. So for the bigger hat that I made, it is around six and a half inches. And for this hat that I am making right now, I already reached around four and a half inches. So I am aiming until six inches. So now that I reach four and a half, I'm going to start decreasing. So I will show you how to decrease. First, we make a chain two at the beginning of each round. So I will show you how to decrease. So yarn over, insert the hook, and we pull, grab the yarn, and we have three loops on our hook. Then we pull through two. We have two loops on the hook. So instead of pulling through, we insert the yarn again. I mean the hook again. And we have four loops on the hook. We pull through two. We have three loops on the hook and we pull through three. And that's how to decrease. For the next two st stitches, gonna be a normal back pose double crochets. Again, I will show you how to decrease. Yarn over and insert the hook. Grab the yarn. We have three loops on the hook. Pull through two, two loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert the hook on the next stitch. Grab the yarn, four loops on the hook. Pull through two, three loops on the hook, and pull through three. And the next two stitches will be a normal front post double crochets. I'll continue to do this pattern of decreasing and I will meet you at the end of this round. I'm at the end of the round. So if you follow my pattern at the beginning without adding one chain, then you, you are one stitch behind at every end of the round, just like this one. So for this, from three front post double crochet, we will decrease into two front post double crochet. So that's it. The rest is four front posts and four back posts, only at the end of the round. Then we will add two more rounds of this pattern so we will do three back posts double crochet now 
Now we'll make three front post double crochets. So just continue doing this alternation of three back post double crochets and three front post double crochets all throughout the round. And after this round, add one more round and then we will start a new decrease after. So this time we will decrease from 3 to 2 st stitches. So we will do the same thing on how to decrease. So this time we will start with a front post double crochet. So the next stitch is a normal front post double crochet. So now from three stitches, we decrease it into two stitches. So again, we'll do the same on the next set. So we will continue doing this pattern for only two rounds and after two rounds, we will make one last decrease for one round. And remember, the end of this round will be two stitches and we will decrease into one. So just continue doing this for two rounds and I will meet you for the new round of decrease. So we just decrease from three stitches into two. This time I'll show you the effect of not adding one chain at the beginning. So you can hardly tell where I start each round and end each round. So that's the reason why I did not add one chain at the beginning. Now let's continue decreasing our number of stitches. So this time from two stitches into one, but for one round only. Let's start. So from two back post double crochet, we make it into one. And then we will make the two front post double crochets into one. So just continue decreasing from 2 to 1 until the end. So I'm the end of the round. So this time, we're going to slip stitch. And then we're going to chain 1. Then we're going to make single crochets on top of each stitch. So we'll do it all throughout the round. So we are at the end, then we are going to slip stitch.
chain one and pull through and then this time we're going to cut the yarn enough that uh, enough length to sew the top of the hat Then take the darning needle and this time we are going to run the needle through the single crochets. So I'm just going to uh, invert the hat or reverse so I can secure it and this is also where to hide the tails or the end. We hide it here in the inner part of the hat. So now our hat is finished and it looks like this one. Then you can add palm. It's up to you. You can use it without palm or with palm. So I made this palm with a clover pom pom maker. So a link in the description below on how to make the palm. So just check the description down below. So I'm going to attach the palm. I'll do it off camera. So this is the finished hat. It fits a 4 to 8 months old. As I said, by using a bigger hook 5mm, you can make it into 9 to 12 month size. So thank you for watching and please leave your comment below if you have some questions. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you. Bye.